Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm at our local creek system and we're going to try and catch some bass, catfish on worms and lures. Hope you enjoy. Okay guys, so the bait we're using today is just some earthworms. So you just thread it on the hook, like so. Like that, and then you cast it out. I'm going to try and get some bass and catfish. I'm getting bites. Hey guys, I'm getting bites. We'll see what's on the other end. Okay guys, so here this is Zach Pemprace. Hey, how you going? Yeah, we're um, fishing together today and his channel is called Zach Pemprace and I'll put a link in the description. He posts pretty sick videos and my little brother Asher. So Asher just hooked up to a nice little bass. Nice little Australian bass caught in a worm. He didn't even know he had it on. Okay, so Ash is just hooked up onto a fish. See what, what it is. Let loosen the, let, um, tighten the drag. Okay, go. Oh, oh, oh an eel tail catfish. The massive eel tail catfish. Okay, so with this massive eel tail catfish Ash just caught on the worm, we're going to be doing a catch and cook with it. So we'll go home cook it up and hope you enjoy that be pretty cool okay so this is a nice ear tail catfish after caught before using the worm so I'll show you how to fill it and skin it you have to skin it because they have really nasty skin it's, it's like slimy and disgusting so you have to make sure you skin it okay so the first thing you need to do is stick the knife straight in here cut in and then run the knife against the backbone all the way along the fish. I guess you just cut along. Eel tail catfish can be quite good eating if you get rid of the skin. They're pretty hard to fill it as well because they're all slimy. And then once you have your fillet, cut down here. Here's one fillet, done. They're extremely hard to fill as I was saying, because they're really slimy and the, their tail is very thin. So but there's one fillet, and let's do the other one. Another nice captive. Nice. He could have easily pulled my rod in. Didn't even know I had one on. There's another big one. And there's their release. Off he goes. Back out into the water. So I now skin it. Run the knife vertically along the skin. All the way. Like that. And you have a nice skinless fillet. So here's the two beautiful fillets I got off that eel tail catfish. They're not the best of fillets because it's like really hard to fill it, probably the hardest we've ever filleted. So here they are and here is the carcass. So as you can hear there's not that much meat left on that. There's a bit but it's not heaps. So I'll just chuck that back and the eels and crayfish would eat that. Like that and the same with the skin. 
Yeah. Chuck the skin back. Like that. Okay guys, so we're heading back home now with our eel tail catfish fillets. And we'll be cooking up there and having a good feed. And so today was a pretty good day. We didn't catch heaps of fish, but we caught a couple of things like eel tail catfish and one bass. Hey guys, so earlier today, Ash had caught this nice eel tail catfish using some worms. So for this recipe, you'll need a damn lemon, uh, matches to light your camping stove or if it's electric start, that's good, uh, butter, an egg, salt, pepper, and some bread crumbs. Yeah. So first thing is get a knob of butter and pop it in the pan, just like that. So the first thing is you light the stove using a match, like that. And you, you put your butter on, pan, then put the egg in. Yeah, so next, we didn't bring a bowl. Just crack an egg. Not like that, that shattered, but it's fine. Give it a good mix. Then get your egg. Dip the fish in the egg. Like that. And just pour it straight on top of it. The other side. Perfect. So now our pan's getting nice and hot, as you can see. Put the catfish fillet on. Put the catfish fillet in. So now you do the other one. Egg cr crumbs. Yeah, the other side. Yep, like that. Sweet. And get all the butter in it. Get it nice and butter and caramelized. You just let that sizzle and then in about a minute we'll flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so now the damn lemon. So <laughs> cut it in half. Not too much, otherwise it'll get, it'll all disappear from the heat of the pan. Now we can probably flip it. Just grab the knife. Oh, Look at that. Really good. All brown and delicious. Do the same on the other side. Bit of salt and pepper. Take match, take the lid off. And the salt. that. Take it Sweet. off the heat. And stick in. Mm. That's real good. Wow, that's really good. Oh. That's actually Ooh. really good. Yum. You actually going to try this? Mm. Oh, yum. Really lemony and yummy. Yeah, so this eel take tail catfish actually tastes pretty good. All right. For a catfish that lives in muddy water. Yeah. 